It's Miss Nicole, the children's librarian at the Cicero Library, and I'm coming to you again today with another batch of home-cooked art that's art you can make with stuff from your kitchen. So a few weeks ago I showed you how to make sculptures out of aluminum foil. Today we're going to use a different food wrap, that's plastic wrap, to make a sculpture. We're going to use plastic wrap, and this is not a kitchen tool, but it's a tool you might have around your house. Packing tape. If you don't have packing tape, you can use duct tape um, or any other tape, but packing tape works really well for this. So if you have it around, feel free to use it. So I have plastic wrap, packing tape. You will need a scissors at some point. Um, sharp enough to cut tape and plastic wrap. And then you'll need an object, um, a solid object. Um, today I am going to use, because I think it's funny, um, my daughter's big stuffed penguin to do this project. Um, I recommend the first time you do this that you pick something a little smaller than this, um, just to see if you enjoy the process. Um, and if you like it, you can make it bigger if you like. Um, but I just, I thought this would be funny, so I'm gonna try it today. Um, so to make your cast of your object, um, what you'll first need to do is to take the plastic wrap and wrap it around the object mm, in about three, three-ish or four-ish layers or so. I'm gonna start doing that and we'll time-lapse this portion of the video because um, it's just not that interesting to watch. It's kind of fun to do, but not that interesting to watch. So here I go. I'm going to wrap up my penguin in plastic wrap. Uh, one thing to remember is if you want, if it has like uh, flippers like this one does or other parts that you want to capture, make sure you got to wrap around it. I'm not going to bother wrapping around the flippers today because uh, I just don't have time or inclination. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to try wrapping up my penguin. Okay, so as you can see, my penguin is wrapped up really well in plastic wrap. Um, it was a little more challenging than I thought it would be, but it also didn't take quite as much time as I thought it would take. So, uh, well, your mileage may vary. Um, so that's the first step, is to wrap whatever it is you're casting up in at least three layers of plastic wrap. More is fine, you'll just have to cut through it later. Um, okay, so that's the first step. Now, this obviously won't hold together by itself, so that's where the tape comes in. I'm using packing tape because it's clear, like the plastic wrap, and I like that effect, but you could absolutely use duct tape. Um, you could try and use masking tape if you like, although it's going to take a lot more work to cover the whole thing, but you could absolutely use that. I don't recommend scotch tape just because it's very narrow and you'll just need to use about, well, I would estimate at least three rolls to really cover the whole surface of your object. Unless you're doing something small. If you're doing something small, feel free to use scotch tape. Uh, go ahead and experiment. I'm going to use packing tape because I have it around um, and I think it'll go quickly. Um, 
well, relatively quickly. I think we'll time lapse this portion of the video too, just because again, it's fun to do, but not that fun to watch. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take my packing tape and just wrap this whole thing up and try and cover as much of the plastic wrap as I can. Here goes. Okay, so now my penguin is more or less covered in at least three layers of plastic wrap and at least one layer of packing tape. Now before I do the last step, um, what I'm going to do is just feel around and double check. Um, if you use packing tape like I'm using right now, it's really easy to miss a spot because you just can't see it very well. So I'm just feeling around and I can feel that there's a couple of spots where I didn't do a very good job <laughs> covering it up with packing tape. So I'm gonna pull out some more tape. You can always add more. It's a little tricky to take it off, but I, I don't think it's really possible with this project to add too much tape. So go nuts. As much tape as you have, um, as long as you don't need it for anything else, feel free to use it. So I do feel that the head is not quite covered. Again, it's easy to mess up stuff, so take your time. Make sure it's all covered up. Okay, so I checked. I think I've covered up all the the uncovered sections of plastic wrap um, as much as I want to. Um, and now this, uh, this cast should have enough strength that when I cut it off the penguin, it should, fingers crossed, um, be able to kind of stand up on its own. Uh, so what you'll do once you have your object all covered is uh, pick a place to cut it. So I'm gonna try cutting it up the back uh, because what I'm going to have to do after I cut it off is to tape uh, that, that cut line. So I don't really want to have to tape around the beak. It was, or, uh, you know, to, to fix a cut line around the beak, it was really hard to get on um, the first time. So I'm, this is the simplest way to cut it. I'm going to cut as little as possible, just as much as I need to take the penguin out. Um, and then put the cast back together. So here goes. Make sure, um, try and be careful not to cut your object uh, underneath uh, if it's something that can be cut like a stuffed animal. Here goes. be able to yep there we go just lift them straight out okay so now I have basically huh, a penguin shape <laughs> made out of plastic wrap um, so what I'm gonna do then and it help, it's helpful to have another person helping you with this because you really need three hands um, but what you'll do then is just you can see my seam here take a little more tape and sort of gently, without squishing it, that's the tricky part, without squishing it, 
kind of tape it back together. So I made this really challenging for myself because I don't have an assistant today. But if you have an assistant around, this works really a lot better with three hands. But I'll try it. Let's see. I'm going to try taping it from the inside just because it's easier. For in, this, in this case, it's a little easier to do it that way without smashing it. So I'm not going to tape the whole thing for you today, but there you go. Um, you have a, a rather large, if you use a large object, uh, plastic wrap and tape sculpture. Um, I've seen people do this uh, technique with arms and legs um, and uh, even almost whole body casts. It's pretty funny. Um, so if you get really bored and you have a lot of tape and plastic wrap, uh, please give it a try. If you do try this and you do something really cool or really funny with it, uh, please share with us the results below. Um, definitely check out our website, that's nopl.org, for more great activities, and I will see you next week with another batch of home-cooked art.